Um, I'm sure you all know this little, little cool effect where upon impact the game suddenly freezes for like a millisecond or a little bit more than a millisecond, but really brief and really short. It's just uh, to kind of uh, show this this impact and or to make whatever you're doing uh, in the game more impactful and more powerful. Back in the days of GameMaker 8, you could use the sleep function. However, when they released GameMaker Studio, uh, the sleep function was no longer available. There was this workaround where you could create a surface and deactivate instances. But uh, I will show you a much easier way. So um, let's just get to it. Roll the intro. Roll the intro. Intro. What the f Okay, so what we got here is a little test project which I made for this uh, little tutorial or this, for this little quick tip. Um, yeah, nothing special. We just have uh, a moving background in this room um, to indicate some movement. We have a player object, an enemy object and a shot object and very simple. Let me just fire it up. So yeah, you can move the player around and you can shoot. There's the shot object and if the enemy is hit, it flashes. So we have some indications of movements um, which we will now freeze in order to make it look a little bit more more interesting and to add this this impact and yeah so we create a script let's call it freeze and um, very very easy so we start with a local variable which we call freeze dur for the freeze duration and yeah let's let's make it use an argument so we can uh, we can decide this uh, how long we freeze um, Right and this little object T is current time Current time is basically an indication of time that is passing in the game. It's uh, It's the milliseconds that um, have passed Ever since you started the game. So yeah, you have an indication of time passing which you can check for and in this case we use current time plus our freezer so we will see here um, we have an indication for the, the time plus the freeze duration <laughs> if this makes any sense but it will in a second hopefully <laughs> so what we will do is we will do a while loop and the while loop will use current time smaller than t so what this does is it checks the current time like the time that has passed and if this is smaller than the current time plus the freeze duration which we have set here then we will do something. And what will we do? Nothing. <laughs> and that's the funny part about it. So while is uh, working this way, while this is true. So while the current time is smaller than the time of a past time when we started this while loop plus the freeze duration, it will do nothing and it will be doing nothing else so this is a little bit different from what you may be knowing and this is why uh, the uh, the game maker help site says that you should be careful with wire loops and yeah basically that's that's it already so we can put this over here and we let we, we add this to our enemy object um, so what we have here is um, 
it's very simple. Like uh, when the enemy object is hit by the shot object, in this case, we set the image index to one, which is the all white sprite, which indicates this flash. And after three steps, alarm zero will set it back to the pink. So you have this indication that it's being hit. And also, of course, the shot gets destroyed. And now let's add the freeze. So what we also will do is uh, yeah, simply call the script. Whenever, uh, whenever it is hit, it will call the script. And we have to supply the argument, which is the freeze duration and yeah, milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds are one second. And let's freeze this for maybe 100 milliseconds. Seems to be good. And let's test it out. Right, so I'm shooting. And if I shoot and hit, bam. Yeah, very subtle, very, very subtle. But you can see. So very easy. We can basically crank this up and I don't know, freeze for one quarter now, one quarter, one fifth of a second, 200 milliseconds. And now, now it's very noticeable. And this is something you really have to, to fine tune for your game and find like, find like the optimal setting, something that looks good and that feels good and that it, that adds this game feel. So it, totally depends on the project you're making and what you're trying to convey. But uh, yeah, this is basically how you're doing it. So pretty cool. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty easy to pull off, right? So yeah, just be, be warned. So use it sparingly because this effect should after all remains something special and um, yeah just uh, try it out do something with it that's it for this quick tip and um, if you like this video if you think you learned something and that it helped you drop a like and i'm happy if you subscribe till the next time bye bye